this week's Game of the Week matchup, we have the Delphi Oracles hosting the Frankfurt Hot Dogs. Now, almost exactly a year ago today, the Hot Dogs defeated the Oracles in overtime. But this season, Delphi's Chase Almaguer is only 21 points away from making his 1,000th career point. Let's find out who will walk away from tonight's Game of the Week matchup victorious. What started off as a roller coaster of a game, these two teams gave their fans a ride to remember. Chase Almaguer came out hot, hitting two consecutive triples early in the game, and the second one came after he rips the ball away under the basket, dribbled to his desired spot, and let it fly. Then it was time for the Hot Dogs to find their groove with the nice reverse layup from Alex Farley, followed by the three from Kai Kirby. He's found by Farley in transition, and he nails it. Oracle's down 21 to 29 late in the second and Caden McAtee connects on the corner three. Entering the second half, 24 to 29, Frankfurt lead. Almaguer finds Braden Gleason by himself in the corner and he gets it to go. Coming right back in transition as Walker Jones with the dime to Joshua Hartley to tie things up at 29. But Kai Kirby says, hold up, we're still here as no one stops him on the drive and finish. Then Almaguer goes coast to coast for the finish and Farley responds with anything you can do I can do better and all of this happens just before a much needed timeout then it's Gleason he gets the put back and one as he heads to the line and this play takes the cake as the ball is fumbled around before Amager is found amid the chaos and he drains the triple giving him the 21 points he needed to join the thousand point scorers club the Hot Dogs made a hard push late in the game, but it wasn't quite enough to come out with the win as Delphi wins it 72 to 68. There's not that many people at Delphi have done this. It's, it's a real blessing. I thank all my teammates, coaches, everybody that's been a part of my life to let me do this. Uh, we just had to keep up, keep up the D, you know. We just had to play hard, get in transition, get buckets, and we came out with the win. It is a fairy tale ending for the Oracles as they come away with the win and Chase Almaguer is able to score his 1,000th point tonight right here on his home floor. And that does it for this week's Game of the Week. Reporting in Delphi, Hadassah Harris, Sports 18. What a game wow. of the week. Another good one in Almaguer. Yeah. I've seen him play a few times. I knew he was probably pretty close yeah. to 1,000 points, but getting it in that close of a game oh, on yeah. senior, like, that's crazy. On the dot, too. Coming in, <laughs> yeah. needs 21, wide open three. Mm -hmm. I, we were both jumping back yeah. here like, he did it. He the got the 1,000. celebration was great, too. Absolutely. So, <laughs> congratulations, Almaguer. 1,000-point mm -hmm. club. That's huge. Yeah, that is huge. And, Vinny, I know you were saying something about seeing Kivo St. Hilaire later on. Is that your play of the night on Oh, Kivo? yeah. Check <laughs> this one out. We've seen him done too many times before but that one was just different right over the defender put him on a poster and doesn't even realize he got the foul call huge dunk by Hilaire I love all his teammates doing the <laughs> on his head <laughs> now my play of the night Brody Baker that's a fun name to say he goes baseline and finishes a nice move around the defender for the bucket as I mentioned earlier he led the Mavs and I was shocked the roster says he's a freshman so I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of him oh, yeah. in the future. Well, that does it yeah. for tonight's Friday Night Frenzy. Next week, we'll be covering all of the sectional action right here. Sectional start up this Tuesday, and we have a full list of matchups on our website, as well as highlights and scores from tonight's game. And tomorrow in sports, be sure to check back here for gymnastics sectionals and boys swim and dive state. Yeah, but that does it for us for now. Have a good night. We'll see you guys next week.